a wide range of social issues surrounding trust, accountability, and the role of government agencies are front and center in today's discussions. Specific measures are crucial to preventing future failures and restoring public trust. The interaction between defense mechanisms, public perception, and media narratives is complex and delicate. Typically, the Secret Service refrains from commenting on ongoing investigations, but we know these are extraordinary circumstances. So please understand that the information provided today is based on what I know now to a degree of certainty. We will learn more as interviews are completed and further evidence is gathered and analyzed, and I will share more information as it becomes available. But I can say without a doubt that heroism was present that day. Secret Service agents rushed to the stage to shield the former president with their bodies within three seconds of bullets ringing out in an unflinching act of bravery. The Secret Service counter sniper who neutralized the threat with a single shot undoubtedly saved countless lives. We're in a high operational tempo. And I need and I want our Secret Service workforce, the dedicated men and women of the Secret Service. I want to know and I want to make sure that they are uplifted so they can focus on carrying out the mission. They are worthy of trust and confidence and they deserve your support. And let me take a moment to speak to the American people that are counting on us to do our job, to protect their ability to cast a vote for the candidate of their choice. The Secret Service's successes are largely unknown. You only know of our failures, and those have been documented, and all of them are undeniably dark days in our nation's history. But let me tell you about the dedicated patriots of the Secret Service. These public servants are the quiet professionals working in the background, day in and day out. They are standing the watch, providing a blanket of protection to the people that work in the White House, to the thousands of people who attend political rallies and nominating conventions, to the thousands of American citizens who line Pennsylvania Avenue every four years on inauguration day to see the new president and the new vice president. And they are out there right now doing this mission. They are focused and they live their professional lives committed to the values of this agency. Justice, duty, loyalty, courage, and honesty. This is who we are, and this is what we do. And we will earn back your trust. Major concerns focus on the role of security services in protecting Donald Trump and the acknowledgement of their shortcomings. It's vital for the Secret Service to reclaim the trust of the American people. While Ronald Rose's statement is necessary, it seems insufficient without concrete actions to ensure such failures won't happen again. Calls for higher standards and improved preparedness will grow louder, highlighting the courage and dedication of the agents who have responded to these crises. Rose's statement is imbued with genuine concern, responsibility, and a quest for meaning in the face of failure. The Secret Service's situational awareness reflects its struggle with its professional and moral identity. There is a palpable tension between the public's demand for security and the agency's need to maintain integrity and trust. The promise to earn back your trust is seen as an acknowledgement of sincere behavior and the agency's responsibility amid significant failures. Rose's statement attempts to manage public awareness and restore trust in the Secret Service's SWAT career. Emphasizing heroism and dedication aims to shift the focus from failure to the positive actions of the involved agents. The pledge to regain trust is an effort to admit a breach and reassure the public. However, skepticism and cynicism from critics reveal a deeper struggle for trust and accountability. Supporters of the Secret Service might appreciate their acknowledgement of failure and the focus on their agents' bravery. Yet, Many will find the statement lacking, demanding more specific measures to prevent future failures. Opinions vary, with some viewing the statement as mere damage control or an attempt to wait out the news cycle. This distrust in government agencies underscores the urgent need for higher levels of responsibility and transparency.